Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The design and development of India's largest 1.9 meters long 500 kg general purpose bomb or GP bombs has been completed by DIDO's AID with 500 kg of preformed fragmentation bomb with steel spheres as fragments. The flight trials of this bomb is also complete from Su-30 MKI and Jaguar fighter jets and the production activity has also started. In April 2022, the Ordnance Factory Khamaria OFK, a defense ammunition production unit in Madhya Pradesh has handed over the first consignment of 500 kg GP bomb to the Indian Air Force, claiming that it is largest ever such indigenously developed bomb. The first batch of consignment consisted of 48 bombs. These GP bombs will be used for ground attack against strategic assets of adversaries such as runways, railway tracks, bridges, docks, and moderately protected bunkers, etc. A single use of GP bomb can blow up an entire airport. It can destroy any airport of Pakistan in single use and bullet train infrastructure and bridges of China built close to Indian border. These bombs, when integrated with DRDO's developed precision guidance kit are very lethal ground attack weapons. The lack of precision guidance munition is forcing Russian forces to use far more expensive calibers and Iskander class of missiles for some low value targets. These bombs will be used by Mirage 2000, Su-30 MKIs and Tejas fighter jets for ground target. The 500 kg general purpose bomb mainly consists of a bomb body and a tail unit. The bomb body is a steel casing of 356 mm diameter and 1.9 meter length. The casing of bomb body is filled with high explosive Torpex 4B. Each bomb has 10,300 steel shell spheres of 15 mm. After detonation, each shell can target up to 50 meters and can even penetrate a 12 mm steel plate. The bomb is designed to be compatible with Su-30 MKIs as well as Jaguar by providing dual suspension lux of 250mm and 14-inch spacing. The bomb is configured with proximity fuse with nose initiation. The lethal performance of the bomb in blast would create peak over pressure of more than 0.2 kg per cm2 at 20m distance from the point of blast and the preformed fragments would perforate 12 mm of steel plate at 50 mm radius with fragments density of greater than 1 hit per meter square. Recently, the Grey Iron Foundry Jabalpur, a unit of Yantra India Limited, have successfully developed 250 kg HSLD, which is high speed, low drag aerial bomb and is geared up for bulk production. Its five samples have also been supplied to Ordnance Factory Khamaria on 31st March. It weighs 250 kg plus minus 25 kg with fillings of 110 kg plus minus 5 kg. Besides these, 780 numbers of 450 kg high speed low drag HSLD bomb has been delivered by Ordnance Factory Murad Nagar, again a unit of Yantra India Limited. The development of 250 kg and 450 kg HSLD bombs by Yantra India Limited is a significant achievement. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.